Boss Beauty Queens. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Darian and I am so excited for this video today because a lot of you guys have been messaging me lately, sharing with me some amazing news that you guys have been accepted into the nursing program. So first and foremost, congratulations to all of you. Today I am going to share with you guys six tips that I wrote down in my little notebook right here on what you can be doing right now as you are preparing for nursing school to start. So if you are at all interested in these tips and you guys are going to be starting nursing school really, really soon, you guys clicked on the right video. Okay. So without further ado, y'all, let's go ahead and just jump right into this video. All right, friends, so I don't know if you guys are going through a similar situation that I went through before I actually started nursing school, but there was that weird like summer gap. I think I had like three weeks in July absolutely to myself. I didn't know whether or not I should be preparing for nursing school or if I should just chill within that time before nursing school started. So if you are anything like me and you just feel like you need to review some kind of information before starting the nursing program, I am here to let you know what topics to specifically be reviewing before you start nursing school. So the first thing that I recommend you reading through that every block one student is going to be going over in school is going to be acid base imbalances. So this right here is a huge topic that every block one student is required to know. You have your respiratory acidosis, respiratory alkalosis, metabolic acidosis, and metabolic alkalosis. So you're going to have those four. And I really recommend going on registerednursern.com and watching her videos because she explains acid base imbalances simple and wonderful and I just love her so so much the second thing that I recommend going over and reviewing is fluid and electrolyte imbalances you guys are going to need to know your solutions and your fluids that you need to give a patient you know whether that's hypotonic isotonic hypertonic review those and understand them you know what solution is more concentrated what's less concentrated what are they used for so review that and then your electrolyte lights on the other hand this one guys is so so big in nursing school you need to know your electrolytes the last thing that i would recommend reviewing and looking over is going to be your vital signs and labs okay so i'm currently in the mix of creating an entire lab sheet right now i'm actually going to post it on my etsy and on there i have all of the labs listed out for you guys if you guys were at all interested in an entire sheet that has everything listed and the therapeutic ranges and the normal values and all that fun stuff so it took me a while to make and it's kind of funny because I graduated nursing school and I'm finally getting to making it and I'm just like girl why didn't I do this while I was in school like sometimes guys I just don't make any sense but if you are now kind of like okay well Darian where do I review this information from or you know what do I do I recommend purchasing this bad boy right here if you guys have not seen this book and if you guys are not even familiar with this book <laughs> Are you even in nursing school? Like, honestly. But seriously, guys, this book will be your holy grail in nursing school. Um, if you have not purchased it, the link will be down below in the description of this video. But it's kind of cool because the first couple chapters are solely dedicated to those three topics that I told you guys to review. Okay, yeah, so it's literally gonna be right here in your unit three, and then it's gonna be chapter eight, nine, and 10. Those three, I really recommend just looking over. I'm not saying perfect this information. You need to know it by the first day of nursing school. No, just expose yourself to it. If you are stressing out about chilling for too long, you know, for summer break or whatever, and you wanna kind of occupy yourself with being productive, prior to nursing school those three things will definitely get you a head start with getting the foundations and the fundamentals of your nursing curriculum so let's go ahead and jump over to the next tip all right friends so this next tip is one that I wish someone would have shared with me a long stinking time ago instead I found out about this tip my block four which was literally pointless and useless and I found this out while I was taking my final exam, y'all. Like, how was that any, any help at all? But with this tip, y'all better love me forever because I'm spilling the juice with y'all today, okay? This tip right here is to purchase 
let me whisper real quick purchase all of your test banks that are linked with your guys's actual books that are required okay so with this one right here you got to do a little bit of research go on offer up go on ebay go on google and type in your actual nursing school required textbook and then type in the test bank for that book but i am telling you guys that your professors sometimes if you're lucky will take questions from those test bank books and use them for the exams okay or if your professor is anything like mine and they create their own freaking exam questions, you won't have those questions on your exam. However, it's still helpful to practice more questions as you're preparing and you're studying for a certain topic. So I just wanted to show you guys what some look like. As you guys can see, this one right here talking about dysrhythmias, chapter 35, chapter 34, heart failure, boom, boom, boom. And they literally coincide with your actual textbook so you can thank me later sweetie all right guys so this next tip right here i personally feel like this is going to save you so so much time tip number three is going to be work smarter not harder and i've said this before in a past video that i've recorded but what i mean by this tip right here is to purchase any study guides that are made already okay i literally cannot explain to you guys how effective this is and how much i actually did this my block Four. if I can save you guys time block one block two block three if you're watching this video but a few of them that I did purchase was like simple nursing level up RN register nurse she's such a sweetheart and she actually gives out her study guides for free I started purchasing a lot of these things because if you think about it a lot of these companies or nurses that are selling their stuff has already taken and graduated from nursing school right so these people have experience and a lot of them write on their study guides what you need to know if you are anything like me and you cannot read textbooks for the life of you because they literally stress you out so so much i highly recommend doing something like this because their information that they put on there is everything that a nurse needs to know your textbook is everything that a scientist or a doctor needs to know so um, i just wanted to show you guys kind of what they look like really quickly these are some of the ones that i actually printed off from simple nursing and he has a lot of pictures on them gives you a lot of like little nclex tips and it just looks really interesting you know what i'm saying study guys that have colors and pictures really grab my attention and i don't get bored from them so this is how that looks a few more some common drug suffixes and i don't know guys just super super simple right here and then you have level up rn i printed off a lot of like her nursing little cards she does really really good with the pharmacology of nursing and all the meds that you need to know and two if you are at all interested i also do sell some of my study guides on etsy i don't sell a lot just because it took me so long to post them but I also simplified a lot of the information. This is how one looks right here. And yes, one page all talking about MS. And that's not to say don't do your own dirty work on the side. Use the study guide, someone else's study guide as like a little cheat sheet as to what direction you need to go and how in depth you need to know the information and then do your own research on the side and stuff like that i'm not completely saying don't do your research don't learn and don't do what you're comfortable with but personally this really really helped me stay on task and not study more information than i needed to all right friends so the next step that i actually want to share with all of you is really going to help you just as you progress in your nursing program as you're studying throughout the entire semester study as if you are preparing for your final exam to further explain this into detail is throughout your entire nursing program and every single semester you obviously have a final exam at the very end of every block so this entire packet right here completely condensed to three pages okay so I highly recommend doing this so as I was studying for MS 
and I kind of got a good foundation of, okay, what is this disease? What's the patho behind it? What are your nursing interventions? What are the medications to treat this? And so on and so forth, right? With this one paper, I was getting information from registered nurse RN, also a little bit from the textbook, like if there was a gray area where I was like, okay, what does that mean? I'm still not understanding it. You know, I'd go in my textbook or any notes that I would take in class, I would kind of just squeeze all of that stuff together and put the most important information on one page because if you were anything like me studying from an entire big packet is literally it's so brutal and it's boring and if you think about it when you are preparing for your final exam and you have one week to prepare for such a huge exam are you going to want to go through this entire booklet of information or are you going to want to go through three pages of information so guys it is going to save you so so much stress when you're studying for your final exam you are going to be so appreciative that you took that extra two hours to make a simple one page study guide as opposed to going through an entire study guide when your final exam actually hits. All right guys, so the fifth tip that I want to share with you today is going to be aimed towards my block three students and block four. The reason that I'm actually including it in this video though is because I want all of you new nursing students to hear me when I say this and to do this once you get into your block three, okay? So as you guys know, I recently just took my NCLEX state board exams and I passed on my first attempt. Seriously, so, so crazy. One of the resources that I used to prepare for this exam was Mark Clemick. I call him Mark K. I got so many people telling me about Mark K and listen to his audio lectures. He's super, super helpful. I was like, okay, I have to listen to his audio lectures to prepare for my NCLEX, you know? So as I'm preparing for my NCLEX and I'm listening to his audio lectures, I was so, so upset because so much information that this man was sharing it would have been extremely helpful as a block three or block four student and i i've never heard of mark clement ever in my entire life but i wanted to stress this tip right here guys because this man worked for the state boards and he was actually writing a lot of those test questions that we see on the exam so he knows the ins and outs of the NCLEX. Your professors will teach you the hardest way possible because I don't know, they just hate us, right? But Mark K guys, condensed so much nursing school information trust me when i say this do not waste your time as a block one block two student trying to listen and look at his notes and stuff like that but if you are a block three or block four student i really recommend listening to his stuff because guys it is going to help you on those exams no doubt so really quickly one thing that i do want to share about mark k's audio lectures is they're actually taken down from youtube the day that i was going to start listening to his audio lectures they literally took down every single video like every single video out there i was very very disappointed and super sad so finding these audio lectures are a little bit of a mess however if i find the link to where i downloaded them i will actually include that down in the description hopefully it's still available because his seminars I know they run I think like $400 plus to sit down and do an entire webinar with him so yes hopefully that helps all of you guys out all right friends so the last and final tip again this is kind of for my upperclassmen in your block four specifically this one right here is to purchase your NCLEX examination ahead of time I cannot tell you guys how important this is right here because you don't want to get stuck with a late NCLEX date, all right? I can't really remember when I paid for my NCLEX, but it was not when my school gave us the okay. I literally paid for my NCLEX, I wanna say like two months after that meeting or whatever. I applied and I actually got my authorization to test number so freaking late, guys. I was so mad because I knew I did not wanna take my exam in July. I actually took it July 6th, but the goal was to take it like end of June. But because I got my ATT number super late, the, by the time that I actually called Arizona State Board of Nursing to schedule my actual exam, the dates were already completely filled up and I had to get a later date than I actually wanted. So if you guys can do this ahead of time and you have the, the finances to purchase this exam ahead of time, I do recommend purchasing it 
when your school gives you the A-OK. -okay. All right, friends, so that is actually all that I have for you in today's video. I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed it, and I hope that you guys got something out of this video. With all that being said, friends, I love you guys so, so much. Just like always, have a beautiful, blessed rest of your guys' days and weeks. Don't forget to be kind to one another. Until next time, I love y'all so much. Bye, guys.